at a camp and went Friday, went Friday to get uh, to go to Mikva. Yeah. All right. Anyways, let's learn because that's the only thing we could do to try and help the situation. All right. Chavdal and Mabez. Yeah, so, um, okay, so again, we're talking about the sugyas of how far away you have to keep your, keep uh, what the menshlich, I guess it's menshlich kite in, uh, in neighborly, in having neighborly uh, relations. So, it says, Marchikin is a goyren, as goyren kavua, right? The Mishnah on the, the bottom of Chavdalim of this. Marchikin is goyren kavua min ayir chamisha mama. So, a goyren kavua, which is a granary that's kavua. So a granary, what they did is they used to do winnowing. So winnowing, which is zaira, they would throw the stuff into the stuff there in the air, and then the air would would separate the chaff from the junk, right? So you have to keep that fifty amas away because all the stuff flying around is going to damage people. In the middle of a shear, but is it important? To, you got till twelve something. Twelve o'clock tonight. Yeah. I think it's pronounced chef. Even it's, it even though it's C-H, it's chef, I believe, yes. Is yeah. it? Is I it? Believe so. I believe I so. I, I, that's the first I'm hearing that, but okay, that could be. Okay, well, you know. It's, it's, it's always English, the first. It's an, it's an English word. <laughs> like, win, <laughs> like winnowing, you know, whoever as uses if the I word know, winnowing. As if I know Hebrew. As, as if I know Hebrew. <laughs> uh, um. Yeah, so anyway, so then you, whatever it is, whatever it's pronounced, we don't want flying things and going into people's houses. So Mamela, 50 amas away is enough. And a person can't even make a garden kavua in his own property. Unless he has 50 amas in all directions. And you also have to make it far away from the friend's uh, plantings. And from near, a near is a plowed field. You have to keep it. You have to keep it far away. The kadesh aloi yazik in order so that it shouldn't go damaging anybody. So basically, you got to keep because of these flying projectiles. Let's call it that. And it, and it also we'll see in the Gemara that it might ruin the people's ground. So mamela, it's a uh, it, you have to stay fifty amos away. So Gemara says maishno ratio maishno sefer. Why is what's why is what's the difference between the ratio and the sefer? Right, because the ratio says 50 amas. The safer says you just have to make sure that it doesn't do damage. Right? Why? What's the two shiurim? Right? Either it should both be 50 amas or just say that they both shouldn't do damage. The safer is talking about a goyrin that's not kavua. Meaning the first, the first, the ratio is talking about as, as kavua, so you need to make sure it's 50 amas. If it's not kavua, it's just temporary, so you're not, it's not being worked. With nearly the same amounts of uh, of grain, so therefore it'll do less damage. You just have to make sure you're far enough away that it doesn't do damage. So you want to ask, "Hey, you don't be garin shenik kavua?" And what's the case of a garin shenik kavua? Garin shenik kavua. I'm Rabbi Yisrael Chanina. Kol shein is zayra bereches. As long as you don't do the winnowing, zayra is winnowing bereches with a shovel. Right? Meaning, if it's if it's a large if it's a large garin, then you're going to be using major tools, so then that's too big. That'll need to be 50 amas. But if you're just doing it with small tools, then it's then it's not. Ravashi Omar, Ma Tamkom. Ravashi is a different territory. So again, the, the um, Rav Yosef Hanina is saying, I'm sorry, Abai is saying that the Rish is talking about a large garden and the Seva is talking about a small garden. And Ravashi says it's just matam kamar. The safe is explaining the ratio. My time in Rachik and Garden Kavu Amenayir Chamisha Mama. Why is it that you have to make sure that the garden is far away from the city 50 hours? Kadesh Layazik, in order that it shouldn't do any sort of damage. Right? So Mesve, Rachik and Garden Kavu Amenayir Chamisha Mama. Right? So the Brysa says you keep the garden away from the city 50 hours. Right? And the same way that you have to keep it away from from the city, so the same thing from gourds and uh, cucumbers and other trees and a plowed field, 50 arms, in order that it shouldn't do damage. 
So Bishlam Ravashi Nicha. So according to Ravashi, it makes sense because it's explaining. It says fifty amas in order not to do damage. It's exactly what, what, what kind of what kind of hizik are we talking about? Because of, because of the shaft, what kind of hizik are we talking about? Yes, what the Gemara is going to say. Hold on, we'll get to we'll get there in a minute. Yeah. So Bishlam Ravashi Nicha El Labaya Kasha, but Abaya Abaya who says that one is talking about a garden kavua, meaning a large garden. And the Seva is talking about a small garden. This Braisa does is not mashma like that. So Gemara says kasha, that's taka kasha. Okay, so now the Gemara asks, so Bishlam and Mimakshuva Midua, we understand why you have to stay far away from cucumbers and gourds. Dazal Afka Vaasi Belibe Umats O O Mitsavile. Right? Because the Afka is the the you call the chef, but the dust literally is going to come. And go get to the heart of the 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 kishuan and diluin, the gourds and the cucumbers. Umitzavili, it's going to dry it out. That's the issue there, Rachamim. It's going to dry it out. Ela miniro yamai, but why? For a plowed field, what's the matter with having with having junk going to plowed field? If anything, faker, it might it might be what do you call it? Mulch. So Rav Abba Bar Zavdi, you tell me Rav Rav Abba Bar Zuchim if nei on Tamer Aleph, nei she oisa oisa golol. The reason is because it's going to make the field into too much manure, right? Meaning, um, it's too much of a good thing. That's the way Rashi says it. It's too much, too much uh, mulch or whatever it is, fertilizer is actually going to be bad, right? So mamela, that's what might happen to a to an empty to an empty field, whatever to a plowed field. An empty field, the chur sounds like should be fine. Right. Okay. Seems like we, 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 whenever we were, uh, you know, back in a lot of, long time ago, before I came to New York, but the fertilizer, if you look at the instructions on fertilizer, it's, it's limited how much you put down because it actually, you say it burns, it burns the, uh, you put down too much, it burns the, it burns the crop that you're trying to fertilize or the grass, or whatever. Yeah. So you it's interesting. I, I didn't think, I didn't think that Chef was, uh, had such a, uh, a, a positive, uh, Effect on on uh, on uh, on the tavu yeah. on the ground, you know. It's not like you know manure is something used all the time, but jaff is. I guess. Like, I guess. I don't, I guess. I don't know. I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see the next mission. Continuing in the same thing. Marchikinas on nevelas vesa kvaras vesa bursuki mina ir. You have to keep nevelas is dry, you know, dead animals, and kvaras is cemetery. And Bursaki is the tannery, it has to stay far away from the city. Again, Chamisha Mama. Seems like Chamisha Mama, even though it seems like they're all different reasons, but it seems like 50 Yamas is the go to measurement to keep it's things away from far. the city. It's not what? that far. Yeah, it's really not far. What is it, about uh, 70 feet, 75 feet? Going to the Chazanish, maybe it's a, less than 100 feet, around 100 feet. Yeah, it's not that far. Yeah, So then we get in again, we have an opportunity to, to have where people can say, like, what kind of science did these did these rabbis know about? Right? So he says, a bursaki cannot be, be not cannot be made in the east of the city, because the east wind will bring the smell. It could you could make it on any side of the city, it me my rava, except from the west. Right? and you have to keep it 50 amas away. All right, so the Kiva Shita is, he's disagreeing. So one is saying that Tanakama is saying you can't do it to the east. The Rekiva is saying you can't do it to the west. Rechikin is a Mishim in Europe, and you distance the, the, this we had already, you have, they took these water, they took these buckets, or they dug holes and they would soak the flax in it in order to turn it from flax into, into linen. So that smelled. So you have to keep that away from vegetables. There's a Christian mina b'tzalim and leeks have to stay away from onions and chardol mina devarim and mustard has to be far away from bees. Rabbi Yosi mata b'chal dover, but Rabbi Yosi says chardol, you're allowed to put it next to somebody's beehive and that's not a problem. <coughs> okay, so that's uh, so that's the machlokes in the mission. So yiboilu, had a shal. Rabbi Kiva, hechi koma. Again, Rabbi Kiva had said that you can make a, a tannery on any side of the city, but just not on the west. 
So what did he mean by that? And then he says, and you have to stay away 50 amas. So what does he mean by that? So Rabbi Kiva, what does he say? You can make it in any direction, and you can keep it close, the tannery close to the city, except for the west, the Marchik Nun Amo, where the west, you could also, you could do it, but it has to be more than 50 amas away. Or we say that he does it to every, in every uh, direction, he could do it. But it has to be 50 amas away. So for the West, that you can't do it at all. Right? Again, the, the, do we say, according to Rabbi Kiva, that you could do it on any side of the city, and it can be right next to the city, except for the West, which has to be 50 amas away? Or maybe he does it in every direction, 50 amas away. But in the West, you can't do it at all. So at all means, at all means, not not hundred amas, not five hundred amas. So, right. Well, so at some right, you're right. It's the maximum, point, no? Correct. There has to be a maximum. At some point, at some point, it has to end. Right. So I don't know. I don't know what the maximum shear is. But once it's it's uh, because then if you get into the next city, so then you can't do it because well, I guess you'll be on the east side of the next city. Right. So then that would be okay. There's two ways to interpret what what is said in the Mishnah. It's not clear. That's all. Not, it seems like it's just not clear. Right, but according to that yeah, side, yeah. according to that side, what's yeah, the it sounds like you can never do it to west of the city, right? Right. But, 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 but everything is west of the city, <laughs> right? Yeah. Something. It's west. Everything is west of something. Until you get all the way around the world to get back to it. Yeah. Right. Okay. One, 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 one. Eight, eight, one. Yeah. I don't know. The Tanya, like it's sort of like somebody asked with the putting up an Erev, right? So why is an Erev making an Erev to the inside? Maybe it should make an Erev to the whole world on the other side, right? Maybe the Erev should be inside out, right? If I make a little Erev around five feet in my yard, so it's making an Erev around the whole world, isn't it? Yeah, well, except for the Carfifios. Okay, whatever, <laughs> but uh, mine is that. <laughs> right, so it's um, obviously with this in this case too, it's got to it's gotta end somewhere, so I don't know. That's a good question. Toshima, the Tani of Kiva Oimer, the whole Ruach Oiso, Marcha Kamishamam, in every direction you do it, and you have to distance 50. Amachutz me Marava, they know it's a call Iker, except for the West, so you can't do it at all. Amneshahu Tadir, because it's Tadir. It's, 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 we normally Tadir means it's, ca- it's more common. What does this mean? Amalei Rava, the Ramacha, my Tadir, what do you mean it's common? Ilema Tadir, Baruchas, if it means that it's, it's always, meaning, it's common that it's just the wind blows from the west, which would then take the smell of the of the bursiki and bring it into the city. There's four ruchas that that blow every day. And together with every wind, there's always a north wind. Not for that. The world is not going to be mekayim even without, if not even for an hour. Veruach teraim is kasha mikulan, and the south wind is is the most difficult. Vemalei ben nuts shemamidim, not for this malach ben nuts or ben nates that holds it up. Mecharis ha'olam, it's going to destroy the world. Shenemar ha mivinoscha yavar nates yifrois knafav the same one. It's from your bina, from your understanding. That the net goes out and spreads out its, its wings to the south. Yeah. So you, so it's coming. It says the nets. It says spread spreads out its wings to the south. Right. Okay. Whatever. Whatever exactly that pasuk is talking about. So, so you see that all the winds blow at all the time. So it can't just be that the west is blowing. Elamai tadira. What does tadira mean? Tadira b'shchina. The Shekhinah is always there. Now, this one also is hard to understand. The Shekhinah is always in the West. So, mainly, you can't put a smelly tannery in the West. Right? Because it's not covered, the Shekhinah. Now, the Shekhinah is going to be the West of somewhere, somehow, right? It's always going to be the West of something. Right? I mean, you put it to the East, so it's to the West of the neighboring city, right, David? I mean, sort of that's extension of what your question was before. Right? I do have to tell you that there's a farm that 
I mean, Rafal Franklin's farm, I think, uses the duck manure from there's a duck farm a few miles away, right, Rachman? If he's on, he's not on. Anyways, um, oh, he is on. Yeah, so the, the, the duck farm, they use the manure. When they, when they spread it, so the Bungal Kali is <laughs> west. It. The Bungal Kali, the Shayasha Bungal Kali is west of his farm. When they spread it, ooh, wow, the smell is unbelievable. <laughs> Camp, the camp that I'm in is sort of east to, to his farm. It doesn't smell here at all. Mamish doesn't smell here. But there, I'm telling you, the smell is geferlum. Uh, it's it, terrible. It's, it's, I was talking to Rafal, and he had a, the, the, somebody from the health department there, and, they had the, and he apologized to her about the smell. She says, no, that's, that's like money. That's money. <laughs> so in the farming business, that that manure smell, that terrible smell, is a money smell. It's a good smell. To the yeshiva, it's not. <laughs> to the bungalow colony, it's not. To people in the city, it's not. But those people who are in the farming business, oh, that's like that's like the best smell in the world, you know. <laughs> Kakshamati. <Right. laughs> it could be, but I'm, it's all city folk. <laughs> Me too. I'm not interested in the smell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah anyways okay whatever but you see that it's such a thing it's it's it what it's it is anyways so again but we're saying to dear means to dear bashkina domra bishuma levi boy but not sick to love say no let's go be maxic toiva to our now this is very interesting i found it interesting love say no normally means our forefathers of rome yitzhak and yaakov right it's not rashi says and from the gemara it's mukha it's not talking about that it's talking about anchik nessus agadoilo right that's it's interesting that's called Avisenu. So, anyways, that they told us the Makoim Tfila, meaning they told us which way to dive The Siv Tzva Shemaim Lachomish Tachavim and the the Tzva Shemaim, the whatever those guys, whatever they're called, the uh, the Malachim, I guess, meaning that's not really not Malachim, sorry. The Tzva Shemayim is the sun, moon, the stars, the the uh, constellations, all that stuff, right? So that they're they're bowing down, right? Now they're in the east. So if they're bowing down, then that means they're bowing down to the to the west. Yeah, fine. So the Shechina is in the west. So therefore, don't put anything smelly in the west. So Maskel Ravach Bariyakov Duma Keevich Not the Pras Mirabim. Let's say, why don't we say that it's an Eved who's taking a pras, taking money from his master. And he goes backwards and he bows down. Meaning, we know, right, Rafutna, Rabbanon, I see, went off. But Rafutna was mocked that the Eilam should go step backwards from him. Right? So, uh, you go out, that's what you do. Also, the way you're supposed to leave a shul, we're not mocked on it. You're supposed to back, you know, you're supposed to back out. Right? So maybe that's the Hishtachavah. If that's the case, then you're back, then you're then you're going to the east, right? Meaning the, we the Gemara is assuming that the Tzva Shemayim are bowing towards the west. Who says? Maybe they bow towards the east and they're backing. They're going out backwards. So what it says, Kasha. Yeah, that's a Kasha. Fine. Now because of this, for the rest of the Daf, for the most part, it's all about winds and constel and 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 which way things are going, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's see. Rabbi Yishei saw a shechina b'chol malkim. Rabbi Yishei holds that the shechina is in all places, right? Like the Uncle Moshe song, up, down. What is it called? Up, up, down, down, right, left, all around. Song of the Duff, yeah. Right. So the shechina is everywhere. I mean, Uncle Moshe's song is probably like this. What do you mean? Like this? This is not like the Uncle Moshe's song. The Uncle Moshe's song is probably like this. I'm a stomach, but for some reason, I think he didn't have this in mind. But Okay. Right. Right, we say this every day. You are Hashem, you just you, and Hashem made the Shemayim. Right? So Shluchecha like Shluche Basavadom. Your Shliach is not like a human Shliach. Shluche Basavadom, Mimakam Shumashtalchim, the Shamar Sinim. Meaning, if I send somebody out to do something to me, so they come back to where I am to report to me. Shlichusan, but the shlichus, shlichus of Hashem, um, they come back and they and they tell over what that they did. They're shlichus. 
אבל שלוחה אחר למקום שמשתלחם משם מחזיר של חילוסון. But your shluchim, meaning Hashem's, they don't have to come back and report. They could stand right there and report their shlichus. Shenamar hasishach berokim send out lightning. Vayelchol yom rulcha hinano, and they're going to go say, "Here we are." Yevoyu vayom ruloi namar doesn't say they're going to come back and say, "Ela vayelchu vayom," and they'll go and say, "Melamed shashchina b'chol mokum." That teaches us that the shchina is everywhere. So that's shita shavayshia. Ba'afra bishma also shchina b'chol mokum. Rabbi Shmuel also the shchina is all magum. Tanya the way Rabbi Shmuel benayin she shchina b'chol magum. Shenamar he ne malach hatoy verbi yotze. The malach who came to me went out. The malach acher yotze lekrosse and another malach went out to to greet him. Acher rov loy namar doesn't say after him, right? Ella lekrossei. It says to call him. Melame it shish melame it shchina b'chol magum. The shchina is b'chol magum. Have a safe trip to be matzliah. Yeah. Right, the teachers that the mechitzah shchina is 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 everywhere. Fine. Vaf Rav Sheshes saw a shchina b'chol makom. The shchina is b'chol makom. Don't worry, Rav Sheshes the shame. So Rav Sheshes says to his shames. Right now, Rav Sheshes was blind. He says the ruchol ruchos so ukmel levar levar music. He told the shames, face me in any direction, just not to the east. The lamishum the less b'shchina, not because there's no shchina. Ela mishum the mayru ba mini because that's the way, and I don't know why this is, but that's the the meaning, the apikarzim daven towards the east. Right? Okay. Rebavo, I'm a shchina b'mayr. Rebavo says the shchina is in the west. Dama Rebavo, my urya, when it says urya, which is the the word urya means east. Right? Bavir ka. It's like it's literally means the 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 air of Hashem. Right? So that's the shchina is in the west. So then the east is the air, and that's in front of Hashem. So I'm going to the mighty chsiv now. Okay, so because it's so basically we have machloekas of paiskin whether the shchina is in the west or the shchina is everywhere, right? Okay. So I'm going to the mighty chsiv now. Again, it doesn't mean that the rabbinu shalom is is only in the west. We know that Hashem is everywhere. That's why we have to behave ourselves, even when we're in the bathroom and even when we're in the bedrooms, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, because Hashem is there. It's just a matter, I guess, of where the Shechina, where the Shechina, the home base of the Shechina is. Fine. So, the mighty Siv. Now we go get into things about about wind. Yeah, we get we we dash in here the psukim in in b'zayis habrocha. Mighty Siv Yarev Kamater Lichi says, "Let my um, my lekach will drip like rain," right? Which means teaching. Zuruach Maravis. That's the west wind, which comes from the oiref, means from the neck, from the back of the neck of the world. Okay, tizal katal imrasi, it'll go like tal. What I'm saying, zuruach tzvainis, this is the north wind, shemazeles as azov, which it from the word zol, it cheapens the gold. who makes the gold from the pockets um, cheap. So what does that mean? It means because it's a bad thing, the north wind is damaging. So what it does is then it makes everybody's gold cheap because now they have to stay. It raises, if, if the north wind is in control, so then it raises the prices of all the grain. Kisirim alei desha, like the winds with, with blow on, on growth. Zuruach misrochis, that is the east wind. Shemisa'eres is kol oilam kisir. Right, that it's, uh, it, it, uh, it, uh, how do you call it? It makes the world meshugah and like a shade. A shade can make the whole world meshugah. Meshugah. Kurevivim alei day seven, like showers on grass. Zuruach Tremis, that's the south wind. Shimaila revivim magdelas asavim. It takes up the showers and it makes grass grow. Fine. Tanya. Now we get into how the sun goes around the earth, which seems to disagree with how science works. I, I don't know, but. There's no way I can't possibly understand this, but we'll try. The world is like an open, like an open uh, building, which basically Rashi says that it doesn't have a fourth wall, meaning it has three walls and the fourth wall is not there. And the north, the north side is the one that doesn't, this doesn't go around it, meaning on the north side of the world, it's missing its wall. 
And when the sun gets to the northwest side of the world, it goes backwards, meaning it it folds back, meaning it goes back. And it goes above the rakia, meaning it sounds like what it's saying is that the sun, I think this is what it's saying, the sun goes across the earth, and then after shkia goes up, it comes back around that way, and then comes back down this way. We just go with the, that it's going around the earth, or the earth's going around the sun, whichever. But I mean, here it's saying that it goes, it goes through the rakia and goes up that way, Meaning there's a hole in the sky, it goes in the in the heavens, whatever that means, and then it's uh and that's how it goes. That's that's first sheet. The the Kuba Hudaima. The world is like a tent. This week's part of what? Kuva, the word kuva. And he brings it, it down in the in the notes that it says see Baba Basra twenty five Russian. Really? Kuba I don't remember tent. I have no idea. The, at the end of the by Pinchas, I think, when he stuck it in the Kuba. Oh, Kuba shall, uh, what do you call it, Taka? Yep. I check that out. Very Frank interesting. Yeah. Very good. Wow, very yeah. good. Yeah. Um, interesting. Okay, here we're touching it as a tent. Is he talking about the tent? That's what it's talking yeah, about? Yeah, he's talking about the tent. It says, in the tent, and then, then it's Kuba that he, with the knife, but the actual word is Kuba as a tent. Ah, very I'll good. I'll take a picture. That's very good. Very good. Okay. I am the Kuu Daima. The Ruach's finest must have ever seen. The Ruach's finest goes around. The Kivan Shechama Magas, the Karen Marovis finest. When the sun gets to the northwest corner, not the, the last, the uh, right, this was also Marovis finest. Yeah. Makefes, it goes around the Chazaras Achure Kipa, and then it goes behind the Kipa, which is the covering of the sky. I have no idea what this is. Shenemar, Hoyle Chaldorim. It goes to the south, and turns around to the north. Fine. Goes around and around, right? Going in that direction. And then when it comes around, it goes back in that direction. That is the east, facing the east and facing the west. Sometimes it goes around and sometimes it goes over them. Okay. I don't know if anybody's an astronomist. They could uh, say shot here. Right. He would say, that, that comes to tell us like Rebbe Yazar. Fine. It says, from the cheder, from the room, comes into the wind. Zuruach Droimus, that's talking about the south wind. Umi Mizram Kara, and from the Mizra, from the word again, Zaira, it's cold. Zuruach Tzvainus, that's the north. Minishma, Kel, Yitin Kera, from the Nishmas Kel, it gives, it gives ice. Zuruach Maravis, that's the west. Barachov Mayim Bimutzak, and, 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 and the water, Zuruach Mizrachis, it's the Ruach Mizrachis. Um, there's a mile over here, Aaron and David. They can't, they got the, 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 the PA system is down. It's Gavaldic. <laughs> I was going to say he's very quiet. Yeah, it's not Gavaldic. Yeah. I like it. Yeah. I want to no, know what's from Alava Malka tonight. No, it is. They're, they're between me and you, they're having, a, I think, an acrobat show now, and then they're breaking out. Um, they're breaking out. I don't know what they call it, bunk day? I don't know, something. The color war of the I first don't know. Day. I'm sure I'll get tons of WhatsApps from Wartelski tonight. I'm sure you'll you get will. plenty. Don't worry. You'll get yeah, plenty. I'm going to wake up to 77 WhatsApps. <laughs> I didn't join that chat. So, yeah. Exactly. There's um, a thousand people in that chat. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Um, <laughs> anyways, so, uh, yeah. Okay, so those are the winds. Okay. The south wind brings up, that brings up the rain and makes the grow. So we're saying that the south is good. So we have a steer. One price that says south is no good. One that says it is good. Like Kasha, Hadda Asya, Mitra, Benichusa. One is where the rain was soft and hard, Bishvichusa. And one is talking about where it comes down very hard. So if it comes down very hard, it's no good. When it comes down soft, it is good. Fine. 
Yalta. From the north, we're going to gold. The rule of finest that's all about the north wind, which may, like we said, about Aleph, because the north wind is damaging. So people are going to have to spend the gold. And you spend gold like from the pot, from the pocket, from your wallet. This is good for three weeks. Like the south wind has not come wrong with rain, which is actually good. You made exer on the right, and now there's there's a rub, there's starvation, and it eats up the left, and there's nobody's gonna be satisfied. from the north and the right, you created them. Fine. Rain does not come from a good thing. So it's a right type. It's not you saw to return as from Mako and we saw Shrin on Maso. When Klai is doing what Hashem wants, and there is Klai Yisrael is living in their world and their earth, meaning in, in Eretz Yisrael, Kisham Yardin, then the rain comes from a good place. When Klai Yisrael is not there, Ain Kisham Yardin, Kisham do not come from the Eitz Toiv. Right? Okay, fine. Then Omar of Yitzchak. Another uh, interesting Gemara. If you want to become smart, you should face south when you daven. If you want to become wealthy, then Yatsvin, then you should face north. I've been facing the wrong way. Now I know why. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. Uh, yeah, you should open a special show. Maybe that's a way to open a su- successful show. Tell everybody that we're going to face you face south, right? Shulchan is in the north and the Menaira is in the south. Right? So Menaira is from Torah or so that will make you smarter. And the table, and a table is, is you know, having a successful table that's that represented by money. You should always go to the south because if you're going to become smart, then you're going to get become wealthy. Shanamar. I thought that we say at the end of uh, Bayasim, right? The, the, you should have long days is in the Torah's right hand, and in the left is wealth, wealth, and then covered. So the covered actually goes with the money. So when it says, but then we say that Shkina is in the West. So you have to face West when you daven, right? So, so what are you saying? You should face north or south. The mitzad it's today. No, you bend. You know, you bend a little bit in that direction. Us, but we live in North Eretz Yisrael. Adrimo, Adrumi, we face the south towards the base of Mikdash. We know the Bavel that's fine to Eretz Yisrael. And how do we know that Bavel is to the north of Eretz Yisrael? Right. So, I mean, who says it is? And then the Metzius, it's a little bit dif- difficult, right? I don't think Iran, is Iran or Iraq? Which one is Bavel? Either one. Iraq. Iraq. Either one, Iraq. So either one of them, it's not to the north, I think. Whatever. So, the Chsim, it's up and Tifta Haro, Al Kain Yoshve, or it's from the north. It's in this coming, it's in this coming week's Haftorah, uh, Parshat Pinchas. Is it? Yes, this pasuk. Yeah, interesting. All right. So, mitzvah and tipadah hara al kol yeshvar. It's from the north. The the raw is gonna come. The raw being the raw of bavel. So, if you go back to bottom line is between Ahmed Aleph and this Ahmed, how do you know which direction to to David? Right. Thank you. But don't we face don't we face the base of Megdash? Right. So that's Tysus brings the shitas and. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, Tysus on Omer Aleph brings the Maisa we paskin that you daven towards the base of Mikdash, which is why we daven towards the east, right? Because we're in the west, we're to the west of Eretz Yisrael, right? So, whichever direction you are, you daven towards the base of Mikdash. Fine, Machikin is a Mishram and a Yerak. So, this one we had a few blood ago. So, you have to distance your soaking, the soaking of flax, right? from from the vegetables, ton of yeah, and then Yais, Then we had a machlokes whether you have to keep the mustard seeds away from the 
mustard seeds away from the bees. So Tana, Rabbi Yossi said, you don't have to. So Tana, Rabbi Yossi, b'chardo. He allowed the chardo, because you could tell, he could, the guy, meaning the mustard seed owner, can tell the owner of the bees, you're telling me to take your mustard seeds away from my bees. You keep your bees away from my mustard. Because they're going to come eat the, the flowers, the the my mustard. So you keep, what are you telling me to keep my mustard away from your bees? Because they're going to damage your bees. You keep your bees away from my from my mustard. And we said already before that the, the Rabbanon say that the, the damage that they would cause is not really is not really a damage. Fine. So let's do a few more lines. A few no, more. Don't they uh, don't they complement each other? Actually, bees uh, the bees normally complement the food that uh, to by pollinating the flowers. So so. Uh, I can tell you that the bees would be bad. If they, bees, bees don't eat things; they take the pollen. And yeah, but I don't know. They, by they're doing it, they 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 they, they, they fertilize it. The, for not, not that's not the word. They pollinate the flowers and then the seeds, which are the herdal and whatever other things are, and then the fruits grow from that. If you don't have the bees, you're you're in bad shape. Doesn't matter what type of fruit it is, Misa, but uh, without bees, you're in bad shape. Okay, but okay, I guess you can keep them away. You want them? You want them? I I don't know what this Guatemala means. That's a car kick from the Devore. Yeah, I don't, I don't get yeah. that. Okay, I looked it up. Apparently, specifically with mustard, bees eat the leaves. Is that they so? Eat, they eat the yeah. leaves. They eat the leaves of the mustard plants. Okay, so that's a machlek. Whether that's called damage or not. Yeah. Okay, good. The same so like it applies today online. I just saw. Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Look at I'm that. About that. Yeah. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. Okay, Vaidya. So then, let's see the next mission. So this we had a few times. You have to distance a tree from a bar. Esen v'chamishama, twenty-five amos. Or b'chara v'v'shikma chamishama. But a carob tree and a sycamore tree, their their roots are a lot longer. You got to keep them fifty amos away. I'm in the middle of the so Come back, yeah? Whether it's on top or whether it's on the side, which we'll see in what the Gemara, what that means. In my bar, if the bar was first, you cut down the tree, even nice and dumb him. And you give, you have to pay the guy money because he has to knock down his tree for you. If the tree was there before he dug his bar, he doesn't have to cut it down. We don't know if the tree or the bar came first. Layakuts don't cut it down. Even though the bar came before the tree, don't cut it down. Is that nice and night of a This one can dig in his property and this one could plant in his property. Like we said, Rabbi Yossi is not concerned that somebody has to be worried about damaging somebody else. That person has to be have to have his own worry to make sure he does not get he doesn't get damaged. So, so the Gemara says, whether the, the bar is on top or the tree is on top. Now, it doesn't mean on top. It means, let's say, on above hill and further down the hill. Now, you can understand if the tree is on top of the hill, uh, if you can understand, meaning, let's see the Gemara, let's see the Kash. The bar is on the bottom and the tree is on top because the not shrush and maskla. So the the roots are going to go down and weaken the bar. I'm a kamaskil the bar. It's going to weaken the bar. Ella bar lemalo ve'ilon lemato. But if you have the bar on top and the tree is below the 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 bar, am I? What's the problem? The, the again, you have a bar up here on this on this uh, higher up the hill, and you have the tree lower down the hill, right? So, what the roots are going to grow, and then what's going to happen? Nothing, right? If the roots go down, it's away from the bar. So I'm Rav Chaga. What it does is it it uh, um, it ruins the the floor and it and it breaks the floor of the bar, meaning the whole ground in that whole in, in that whole area loses its uh, loses its strength. And mainly, even if the bar is further up, it is still considered it's still considered damaging, and therefore. 
we don't tell me the difference whether the bar is below or above above the tree. Okay, we'll stop over here. Um, Jacob, right. Yosef sent that email now that the water is back on. I, I don't know. I know they turned it on right right at the end of Shabbos. They got some on. So then I heard, I, it could be in, in this, it, it, there's whole different waters. So I have no idea. I hope it is. Um, 